What up, Pug Monkeys? How are ya? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another spooky Thursday story. Now, if you're new here, hello, I'm Nikki. I'm the bringer of most, if not all, paranormal urban legends. I don't know. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit that little bell icon. So you know when I post new videos, which I'm trying to do every Thursday. And I don't know how to edit. Mm -hmm. I don't <laughs> to do that. I don't know how to edit, so there will be non stop and if it's boring and you like wanna check your email or something, go ahead. But bear with me, I'm doing the best I can. Having said that, if you like these type of paranormal videos, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, got something to say to me? Find me on all things social media. Links always down below. Or leave it in the comment box. I love hearing you guys' comments. And if you have stories, same thing. I love it. Okay. Now, this one is just kind of been sticking in my head since I found it. And this one is called the. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> called the Michigan Dog Man. Now, how this started, I guess, was back in 1987, I believe. There was a couple of um, DJs from Traverse City area, I believe, who decided to. How do how they word it? Play on words of this very popular urban legend. This one says, um, if you go down to the woods, this is downstate, so. Actually, anyone really scared to pull the bejesus out of me. Anyway, um, see, according to this, it says, the Michigan Dogman is a dog-like creature, a tall dog-like creature with piercing eyes and a screaming howl. Neither a werewolf or nor a bigfoot, but yeah, I guess it can be found wandering around the woods in the northern woods of the Lower Peninsula. Uh, like I was saying, um. Steve Cook, who then was a Trevor City, who worked as a DJ at Trevor City radio station, claims that he started the myth, made up a song about Dogman titled The Legend, and just started as an April Fool's Day joke in 1987. Hmm, interesting. Now, according to this, too, there have been reports as far back as the early 1800s. One was, let's see here. One man recalled an incident with the beast from 1938 when he was approached by a pack of dogs. Several scattered when he fired off his gun in the air, and, but one just simply decided to stand up, stand up tall and glare him before he was running away. The first report of the dog man goes back to 1887. When two lumberjacks saw a creature with a man's body and a head of a dog. But going back further to the early 1800s, there have been reports from French fur traders. Yeah, similar reports of that. So obviously, yeah. An unusual animal attack in the nearby town of Luther. In 1987, seems to confirm this DJ's pre er, yeah, confirm Cook's prediction of a 10 year cycle for the dogman attacks, but video evidence came out in about 2007 and turned up And with the next round of dogman sightings expected this year, uh, I wonder if. 
as the story goes, if technology will help us find out what it is and capture proof and go from there. Now, the other story I have goes, I think goes along with this, but both articles I will have linked down below so you guys can read it and do what you think. Plus there's a number of other ones, so. Um, playing this one, this one involves the lumberjacks. First known encounter with the Michigan Dogman, like I said, occurred in 1887 when two lumberjacks stumbled upon an unknown cryptological, yeah, crypto, cryptozoological creature in Wexford County. The perplexing creature was reported to have a man's body with a dog's head been spotted several times here in the UP throughout the 20th century and Robert Forestry, a parish Michigan resident, even attacked. So goes back to that. But this one says um, he was attacked by a group of vicious dogs. One dog thought to be the dogman was walking on two legs featured and this was featured on an episode of Monster Quest had a movie had a film called The Dogman along with the song The Legend. Now this one can't be missed or anything. I mean it even had a creepypasta story written about it. Don't believe me? Google it. But that's all I have for you today. I'll try to get more next time maybe i'll do two we'll wait and see but till then i want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and the grumpy pug over here oh god come here come here <laughs> hi this is a grumpy pug say hi max <laughs> but thanks for hanging out with me grumpy pug um Thanks for 38 subscribers once again. And remember, just because October and Halloween are, is over, doesn't mean the spookiness of it, is it? But till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.